So first things first, you'll go to this URL up here, and then you'll click on the Get EA folder, and go to the newest version, and then download the .exe file for your operating system. So in my case, it's Windows and 64, which is somewhere over here. There we go, uh, right here. So it'll be this one. And once you get that installed, um, just copy it and paste it into your local disk. I'm gonna make a new folder called Get EA, paste it in there, and then you can uh, rename it. I'm just gonna rename it to Get EA. Okay, now we're gonna open the command prompt and we're gonna do this in admin mode, so that's important. And then we're gonna target this folder, so uh, C, Get EA, and then we're gonna run it. Dot get EA dot exe. Okay. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it is running now on the web server with port 3000, so we'll keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and see where it is at. So I'm going to open this and type in my local host, which is, there it is, 3000. Click enter and this will give bring us to the setup page and we're going to be doing Microsoft SQL. So this is important here is that we need to find the uh, port for our Microsoft uh, server. So to do that, we have to go to the server configuration manager for, um, and then we'll, as you can see here, protocols for SQL Express, TCP IP, IP address, scroll all the way down, and it'll be the IP all port. So you'll be utilizing your uh, TCP dynamic ports. So let's go ahead and type that in there. Okay, you'll keep the local host, and then now we're gonna actually do some stuff inside the manager. So we're gonna create a role in the SSMS manager and attach a password to it and a database name. Uh, so we're gonna keep the username, get EA, and then database name will be get EA as well. So in our logins over here, we'll go to get EA. I already created one, so you'll just right click and add a login. So double click on the get EA. Basically you're gonna do SQL server authentication, write your password and confirm password. I unchecked the three boxes over here. Then you're gonna to go to user mapping and uh, server roles, sorry, and then from there you'll click on system admin. So you'll make sure that box is checked. Next we're gonna create our database. And this database is going to be uh, just get EA. EA. Okay. Now, once we have that, we can go back to our setup page here. We have the username, and then we'll type in our password that we created. Username is the role. Uh, so, right here, get EA. And database is get EA, like we already created it. You can change your site title to whatever you want. Uh, we can do that. And and then you can leave the rest as it is. These are settings that you can do as well if you want. And uh, basically, first registered user will be able to become an administrator. So you can either uh, register it here or just click install git and let it register the user that is installed. So uh, let's see what happens here. There we go. So it'll take a little while. Okay, so you are officially here and it's asking you to sign in or to register now. So now you have um, basically installed it properly to your server and let's go see what it has done, what data it has put inside the Git EA database. So if I expand this and go to tables, you'll see um, everything that you'll need to access information for it. So you'll get the comments, you'll have commit status, and uh, everything that you'll need. So that's how you know that it was installed successfully. And then you can even just go take out user enter, and then you can see that your site name shows up here.